Okay. But now I want to challenge everything I've said. And I want to therefore also challenge some of what Gary said. Because implicit in everything I've said so far, and in what Gary said, and in what most of, what think about, most of us think about, who think about the early years, is the presumption that these things we're talking about, father involvement, mother involvement, good marriages, whatever it is, affect all children pretty much the same. I want to make the argument that that doesn't make any biological sense for this reason. The future is inherently uncertain. Why do we think, as I've just argued, that growing up in a coercive, nasty world leads to that advantage-taking orientation? Why do we think that growing up in a much more benign, if not nurturing and caring world, leads to a much more caring, reciprocally rewarding, pro-social orientation? We think that makes sense because these experiences early in life are giving the child, if you would, a weather forecast of what tomorrow will be like, and therefore is preparation for tomorrow. And this preparation makes sense in this ecological niche, and this preparation makes sense in this ecological niche. And it does, up to a point. But the future is inherently uncertain. So that's not always going to be the case. I, if I'm prepared for this niche, and excuse the expression, the world goes to hell in a handbasket, then I'm misfit or mismatched for tomorrow. And by the same token, if I grow up in this niche, developmentally prepared for it to continue, and the world turns out much more sunny and rosy than it might otherwise be, then I also am mismatched. And because the future is uncertain, my argument was, theoretically, we should see variation in developmental plasticity, that some children should be more susceptible to these influences than should others, that some are basically making bets on tomorrow and say, I'm going to be like this, or I'm going to be like that, or I'm going to be like that, or I'm going to be like that, and it really doesn't matter what happens to me. That's just the track I'm going to stay on. In contrast, others are playing the bad game that the information I get from my experiences is sound and should regulate how I develop. In other words, theoretically, we should have some who are more responsive to their environmental inputs puts, and some who are less responsive to their envi environmental inputs. And what I want to show you now is that, that seems to be, there seems to be ever more evidence that that's the case. In fact, what's so intriguing, it looks like the very factors that make individuals more and less developmentally plastic or malleable or susceptible to environmental influences, which is why I talk about differential susceptibility, those very factors that make one more sensitive to the environment does so for better and for worse. That is to say, those who are more sensitive, if they grow up under bad conditions, they go this way. But if they grow up under good conditions, they go this way. In fact, they benefit more from good conditions than do others. They suffer more from bad conditions than do others. The interesting implication of this is that those children we think about as resilient, not adversely affected by bad things, and we know there are children who grow up in poverty, there are children who grow up with alcoholic fathers, there are children who grow up with abusive fathers, there are children who grow up with depressed mothers, there are children who grow up in dangerous neighborhoods who turn out just fine. It turns out those children who are well buffered and protected and resilient in the face of adversity, it looks like they don't benefit in the face of support and enrichment, or at least not to the extent that others do. So being resilient in the face of adversity also isn't an unmitigated good, because if, lo and behold, you're transported into a nurturant environment, it looks like you just stay the person you are. And you know what? We already know this in some level. We've all heard stories about people who grow up under bad conditions and turn out fine. By the same token, we know about people who grow up under good conditions and turn out terrible. It's almost like those characters were scripted in them and what was going on around them didn't matter. 